Hello everyone, Aiden here once again back at it with another video, and today I got something that I never thought I'd own. That's right, it's a Homestead fan. Now, for many years now, when I started watching videos, fans, Homestead intrigued me for their products. I remembered when I couldn't get the Win 2 Remote nor the Universal, but I got something Homestead. So like many years later, here I am, my first Homestead fan. So I got this one off from Craigslist, listed fifty dollars, and uh, and being new in box, it was a steal. Yay! So let's take a look at the box. Here is the Homestead ceiling fan. Homestead products from Inglewood, California. Inside. Here's the side. I'm just gonna walk on the institution. See here? It is model CF3000. One and it is the Windsor fan featuring Comfort Flow. It's in polished brass. Let's see here. Bottom of the box. Handle with uh, care. It had this number over it. So yeah, the blades are. Walnut. Made in the United States of America. The seller actually opened the box. Well, just to make sure everything is intact. Alright. So. We shall begin unboxing this fan. First, let me just... Yeah, I think this is good enough. I shouldn't, I don't think I should mess with it. I don't want to make, record this again. So, let's start off the blades. This is a noon box fan, never used. So, I'll open it up. It has six walnut blades. Nice and lovely. I think there's possibly, I think there's cane in it, um, but no, nah, I don't think so. Nah, yeah, no, no cane. So it's a little quite whack. So, but oh well. I mean, at least it's something I'm happy to own. It is, I think, WL44 6. Yes. Now we can get into the fan body itself. Here's the canopy. Mounting bracket is the side. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a recalled bracket or not. Because I've heard of stories about the mounting bracket like this being recalled, but if anyone has any idea or can vouch, please let me know. I have no idea if this is a recalled one or not, because that one, it does not have like the little piece on, on the bracket, the little bar. So, so yeah, that's the canopy. Set it aside. There are the first three blade arms. And, oh, here's the last three of the blade arms. Also came with a bouncing kit, which is nice, but 
I'm not gonna bother reading all this, but I will scan it. I'll pr I promise that. The easy lock down rod has three pins on the bottom. Corresponds to the top. And we got the hardwood bag. First of the part bag, which contains a pull chain bob and some ram screws, lock washers, and Marnets and all that fun stuff. And we got the screws for the blades and the blade arms. These are all flat heads, so these are like annoying because sometimes you would risk damaging the finish. And I don't know what this piece is. Oh, what this? I don't know what this piece is. Crap. I don't know what this is. It was doing in the box, but I'm going ahead and put the motor up. And here is the motor itself, which has some storage rash after all these years. But I'm going to put the motor out. So, ugh. Oh, crap! It came right out. So, yeah, here's the motor itself. It uses some kind of Astrosyn knockoff pseudo Emerson K55. So, the file is intact. Thank God. Otherwise, that flywheel would have been disintegrating at this point. So let's just go ahead and unpack the bag. And you see here, this fan unfortunately suffered storage rash. Oh, no, it, never mind, it's an Emerson K55. <laughs> My bad. This fan unfortunately suffered storage rash. Like, you can see the finish the plating came off. And then the it has some tarnishing the cap. Let's see what this band dates back to. I don't know what the but it's six I don't know what this band dates back to, but I will check the motor. It has all the original tags inside. Uh not gonna I don't know if I would if I should buy it, but Whatever. Has an Emerson K55 motor. So, that's surprising. Flower's in good shape. I wonder how long it'll last because this is really nice rubber. This bearings possibly haven't broken in yet. Oh. So, yeah. It's actually really nice. Let me set that aside. So, has a very nice, has a really cool pull chain setup. Huh. Oh, okay. Here's the click knob, it's low. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, I went backwards. Huh. Oh, I thought someone had the knob incorrectly, but that wasn't the case. And the reverse switch. Actually unique. Just pull out, go in and out. I think that was like 1986 or so. But I will take a look inside the fan. Let's see, here's... Tag says Ramona, California. Let me just flip that over. Ugh. Like this. 
Here's the tag, Ramona, California. I don't know if you can see the label inside, but it should say Emerson, but otherwise I will take the housing off and then put it back on. I mean, it is quite a pain in the freaking neck for me to do it. Pack this fan. But this one actually does have the revised Comfort setup, which was a fast speed. Whether it be like Casablanca, Thunder Five, or some crap, I don't know which came first. But yeah, yeah. But we can go ahead and throw it back in its plastic bag real quick. Set the motor aside. Okay. And then last but not least, we got the manual. And it comes with the warranty card. Here is the dear customer label. This one says RC. That's the assembler. AB. Those are the initials of. The packer is AN, so it was one of those guys with their names on it. But kind of disappointed that this fan is not in the best shape. But I mean, at the same time, it's really a special treat to get a new box fan. It's also a really nice treat that I finally got a homestead. So, there you have it. It's way up to today with the Homestead Windsor. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.